Hey everybody. So I am currently in the process of setting up a computer to do a demo on how to get a brand new computer that comes in S mode out of S mode. For example, Windows 11 Home in S mode. So we got the Windows 11 test rig here and I got my Windows 11 USB installer in the back. That being said, we're going to start this up. The first thing we're going to do is go into the BIOS. So in this video, you're going to get to witness how to put your computer in S mode. Not that I would think anybody would actually want to do such a thing, but uh, I figured we would just roll the camera while we do this. So first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is in order for S mode to function the computer has to have secure boot enabled now I should note this computer does not meet the Microsoft Elite class system requirements for Windows 11 because it has an AMD A6 6420K APU but that should not actually prevent this thing from running in S mode I mean it has secure boot that's one requirement is to have secure boot so we've enabled secure boot and now we're going to go ahead and just save our settings here. <clears throat> and we're going to do a clean install of Windows 11. Alright. <clears throat> so we're going to... It's going to be one of these two right here, I think. Let's try the bottom one. I should note our installer was set up using Rufus to bypass the Elite Class System checks. That way we can install Windows 11 on computers that don't meet the Elite Class System requirements. Okay, so we're going to proceed through installation as typical. Okay, so we are in now. So actually I had to reinstall again because I um, my installer had all the settings checked to bypass the internet connectivity requirement and all good stuff so I went ahead and redid it that way it's as close to a normal Windows 11 installation as possible minus bypassing the elite class requirements so here we are in OBE for example you can see it's, it's wanting us to connect to the internet just a complete setup now if we do shift F10 you can see command prop comes up which tells us that we are not in S mode so we need to fix that that being said I'm going to just go ahead and hard reset this thing not that I say that I recommend doing this but uh, this is how we're going to do it I'm just going to hard reset it to force it to go into recovery mode Okay, so I gotta wait for it to do its automatic repair garbage. And then once it gets done with that, we'll have the option to go into um, recovery options. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up command prompt, that way we can run regedit. So we're kind of doing the step of getting out of S mode with our Microsoft account in reverse. Alright, so now we go to advanced options, troubleshoot advanced options command prompt all right so it's going to run reg edit all right so we're going to select hg local machine and we'll go to file and go to load hive this pc local disk c windows System 32, config, system. And we'll call it Windows. Okay, so now again, open our Windows folder, open control set 001, control CI. Open that. Go to policy. 
All right, so right now you can see the skew policy required is currently set to zero. We're gonna change that to a one. So we're essentially going in reverse of turning off S mode. <laughs> All right, so that being said, now we'll go ahead and uh, close our Windows folder here and go to File, Unload Hive. Don't think this is actually required, but we're doing it anyway. All right, so let's see if that successfully gets us into S mode. Okay, so let's try getting command prompt. And you can see command prompt did not come up, so we are now in S mode. So, that is how you can put your computer into S mode, should you ever want to do it. Not that I would recommend it, but uh, there you go. So at least now I'm ready to go to do my tutorial video on how to get a brand new PC out of S mode. Without a Microsoft account. So anyways, that wraps it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel. That's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.